Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do makeup for oily skin. Now, especially for oily skin, sometimes uh, makeup will not last as long. So it's really important to use the right skincare and the right primers. And I am showing you in this tutorial different options, different product options. I have a great model, her name is Zoe. Zoe also has oily skin, so she's the perfect model for this tutorial. Also, if you have oily skin, Skin, let me know in the comments uh, below and uh, I would love to know what products you like to use for your skin type and uh, keep on watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I see you next time. Thanks, bye! All right, so it's really all in the prep for oily skin and it's really important what products you choose for oily skin. And it really will help you for the longevity of your makeup. So I'm gonna show you a few products today uh, with first starting with skincare. Now, I'm really obsessed with this Sunday Riley ceramic slip uh, clay cleanser. Now, clay cleansers really help to control oil and draws out, it really draws out the toxins and unclogs your pores. So this is a really great cleanser. It's also really good for normal skin, but especially great for oily skin. Another uh, fantastic product is this Ren product. This here is actually a glycolic mask. And I really recommend this mask to use once a week for oily skin because it helps to get rid of dead skin cells and it also helps with your excess oil. Before you start makeup, I recommend using a moisturizer. Now this one here is by Caudalie and the reason why I like this one is because it is mattifying but it also will definitely hydrate your skin. Another option would be uh, first, first Aid. This one is a little bit on the affordable side. I like this one because it's oil free. I'm going to apply the Caudalie Leaf uh, moisturizer today on you Zoe because I really like this moisturizer because it's really lightweight. It will definitely mattify your skin a little bit and uh, you know I think it's really important when you do use moisturizers that you avoid products with too much uh, you know mineral oil in it or shea butter or any waxes because those kind of ingredients will definitely clog your pores. It's really important to choose the right primer for oily skin. Now the one I chose today here is by Makeup Forever and this definitely will help you uh, for your longevity, for your makeup for all day. So definitely choose a primer and something more mattifying. And uh, it's a really great way to make your makeup last all day. And also it will help you with producing too much oil. Now definitely use it around your T-zone area and on your forehead. And I can see right away when I'm applying it, it definitely helps mattify your skin. All right, another essential product for oily skin is for sure a eye primer. I chose this Benefit one. Now there's so many amazing eye primers out there and uh, you know, just choose the one you personally really like. Um, do you like eye primers too, Zoe? I love eye primers. My eye makeup will crease within an hour or two <laughs> if I don't use a primer. Uh -huh. And that's never a good look, so yeah, I try tons of them, and there's so many that work so well. Right. Now we're going to choose the right foundation for you, Zoe. Now, today I actually picked a few different ones. Uh, the one I recommend for oily skin is, as an example, this one here by Hourglass. I really like it. really helps for oily skin. Now, if you're on a budget and you need something a little bit less expensive, the Rimmel one, Stay Matte Foundation, is fantastic for oily skin. The one I chose for you today is the new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Now, this is great. I love it. I've just used it um, last week almost every day on my clients and everyone loves it. You use it too, right? I love Zoe? it. It's fantastic. And the reason also why I like it for you for oily skin is because it has talc in it and talc really helps with oily skin. 
All right, the way how I apply the Charlotte Tilbury foundation is with a buffing brush. This one here is by It Cosmetics, rather than a foundation brush, something like that, because if you apply it with a brush like that, the foundation will just sit on top of your skin. Now, when you use the buffing brush, um, I just like using it because it really buffs and blends at the same time. So I usually start around the center of the face and then I work outwards in round circular motions. Now after we've just applied this foundation on you, we're gonna uh, go right into using a concealer. The one I chose for you is the Dior Skin Nude Concealer. Now this concealer, it's not really advertised for long wear, but it really like wears fantastic under um, under your under your eyes and it's really long wearing and it doesn't crease and I think especially for oily skin this is a fantastic product Mac has a really great uh, long wear concealer as well I don't have it here with me but I really love this one all right so we're gonna go and do your eyebrows Zoe the one I use on you is brow Wiz in the color caramel and I'm just gonna go in and fill in your brows by light little strokes and I'm also going to go in with a brow powder over this because this way with the pencil it just gives me you know the definition I want and then the brow powder kind of sets your brows and especially again with oily skin it helps if you kind of seal it and go over it with some powder after applying the eyebrow pencil, I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia brow palette. I'm using uh, this color from dark brown and the powder, it just kind of sets your brows. And again, it really works really well for oily skin. So we just want to set it. It's almost like a powder on your brows. All right, so let's move into your eye makeup. I'm going to keep your eye makeup super uh, simple today. What I'm applying first is this Tom Ford. It's a brand new uh, formulation. It's a cream eyeshadow, but it blends uh, into like a powder formulation. So again, it's really good for someone who has um, oily skin or oily eyelids because you don't want to use something too creasy on your eyes. So this one is really nice. It does give you a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of a sparkle around your eyes, but it's not too too oily and not too shimmery. Again, it, it dries really nice and matte. I'm actually gonna just add a little bit of a liner on you. I'm really into brown eyeliner at the moment, aren't you as well? I love a brown liner. Yeah, and this one here is the Rock and Co by, uh, that's the iconic pencil by Charlotte Tilbury. And I chose this one because it's again long lasting and it doesn't crease and it doesn't like, you know, once you apply it, it really sets. You know, you have a little bit of wiggle room or a little bit of time to, to work with it, but it sets fairly quickly. So you, you know what I'm doing because I'm not applying this perfect eyeliner. I'm kind of buffing it in and I'm making it a bit smudgy. So you take a buffing brush and you, you just like kind of like wiggle the product back and forth and that gives it that like really nice kind of rock and roll feeling. I'm also going to bring this Charlotte a pencil a little bit on your lower lash line. You already have like kind of like a natural kind of shadow happening underneath your eye yeah. and I think sometimes it's really nice if you do have that to kind of enhance it a little bit and make it a little bit even more. I think that looks really good on you just place most of the product on the outer corner and then again I take my buffing brush from earlier and then I just drag inwards whatever is left but the majority of the product should be on the outer corner. I'm just going to bring this bronzer in your eye makeup just to warm it up. This is just you know something you know it just kind of ties together the entire makeup especially because we're going to use this product later on also on your cheeks. One more quick step before I'm applying your mascara is I'm going back with my Tom Ford cream shadow open up. I'm just going to go like right in the inner tear tuck of your eye and it just kind of, you know, gives you another little bit of a highlight. It just opens up your eyes and there's a really nice effect to your eye makeup. Okay, so I just curled your lashes off camera 
and I'm using uh, this new mascara I just got sent by Kevin Aquan and it's really great for volume and I like the brush if you can see in the camera it's just I really like thin brushes because I feel like it gives me um, more control and I can really you know get really close to the uh, root of your lashes all right so for contour I chose a goodie and a classic this one here is by benefit it's hula I still really love this product you know this product it's amazing it's gives it's you the just, best color it's a great color mm -hmm. it's matte again I think if you do tend to have oily skin choose something on the matte side not too creamy and uh, I just love the color on this this product after the contour I'm gonna come in with my Tom Ford bronzer this one has a little bit of a shimmer in it again I don't want a product with too much shimmer but I just want a tiny little bit just to give you know a little bit of of interest to the skin we don't want to have it too flat and I'm just applying that kind of like on the cheekbone with a fluffy brush another product here is my new brand new Loric blush I love this blush it's really highly uh, concentrated pigmented and it's also really matte so I think this product is fantastic for your skin type. Next step would be a setting powder. The one I chose for you today is the MAC Blot Powder. Um, this one is really mattifying without being chalky. It's really sheer and lightweight, but I know you so well. So in normally during the day, I can already see a little bit of oiliness coming through your skin, but I really think that the technique we used on you today, and I can see that the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation really works on your skin type. Definitely. That right now, actually, in my eyes, you actually really don't need that much powder. I'm gonna just powder your T-zone a little bit. Um, I think a big mistake people make when they have oily skin, they just keep powdering and powdering and powdering and they think that the powder actually helps with the oil absorbance and it actually doesn't. You just keep on building more product on your skin and then you end up looking chalky cakey, and yeah. cakey and try not to do that. So I think you should set your makeup with a good powder like this one and then set your makeup which we're gonna do in a little bit with a good setting spray and then during the day or if you need your makeup to last all day have little blotting papers with you in your bag and I'm gonna show you one right now the one I really like I actually don't have with me today I forgot it the other day on set it's the Honest Beauty makes the best blotting powders the other one I really like but this one is a little bit on the pricier side is the Tasha one they, they're, they're just really fancy and they have little gold specks and then they're great them. they work so well uh, Mac makes a really good one so those are this is really I think an essential product for someone with oily skin always have blotting papers with you moving on to your lips we're almost done with your makeup um, I'm actually da 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 <laughs> using this Kylie very anticipated lip product um, this is kind of cool because it comes with a lip liner and it comes with this uh, liquid lipstick like here and I actually um, haven't used this product but Zoe I had lunch with her the other day and she wore it and I said to her did you do something to your lips like did you like have something done and she's like no I'm wearing this lip product by Kylie Jenner and um, <laughs> I actually really really like the color on you it was it's kind of like this new color it's like brown it's it's, it's I don't even know how to describe this color it's like a dark mauve but I think it's it's cool and I really liked it on you because it's pretty intense so I'm gonna put it on you right now oh and I think it's really important what I did off camera earlier is I put a little bit of the hourglass lip oil on make sure that your lips are definitely moisturized before you do this because it is a liquid lipstick and it dries to matte so you don't want to have you know chapped lips to start with close yeah go like that I think this color is just so pretty on you. Okay, you can take your lip brush here. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury and just kind of like blend it all and kind of like blend out the edges. 
And one more thing I want to say about matte lipstick for oily skin. I think it's a great solution because by midday, you know, you sometimes do become a little bit oily. And I think a, a matte lipstick just kind of like prevents the whole look from, from looking too greasy or too oily. And it's just a great way of uh, substituting from like a gloss or from a too creamy lipstick. And uh, I think we're almost done. So the last step is, I think I highly recommend a setting spray for oily skin. Now the Urban Decay one, this one, the Slick Makeup Setting Spray is um, designed for oil control. And this one is oil free and paraben free. So I'm going to spray you really quickly, close your eyes. Just do a few spritzes. And uh, then you let that dry, you can open your eyes. And then you can even go in with your buffing brush one more time to just kind of buff out the foundation, especially around the T-zone area. And uh, you're done.